Totino Grace wrestler Jake Sveal is ranked number one in the state for Class 2A at 120 pounds and number five on the pound for pound list. The senior is a three time state runner up and looking forward to getting one more shot at that elusive state title. Here's Jason Malolo with our Sports Jam Spotlight. 32 pounds. Jake Sveal doesn't waste time on the wrestling mat. A quick shot by Sveal. Well, that didn't take long. No, three <laughs> second takedown. There. I'm just like a high pace. Offensive wrestler, I don't like to wrestle on the defense. It just kind of, I don't feel like myself. It's a style that's serving him well. Schwill is undefeated this season and ranked number one in the state at 120 pounds. When you're pushing the pace that much, you're used to wrestling like that, so your conditioning is most likely better than every other. You have an advantage over conditioning on every other wrestler you wrestle. Schwill started wrestling at five years old, often under the watchful eye of his father, Doug, who's been the head coach at Tatino Grace for 30 years. It wasn't always easy for Doug to get his young son to go to practice. When I was little, I, I, I dread going to practice. This. Like, it, like once I got there, it was fun, but like I didn't want to go. And when their uh, buddies are out there playing in the yard or doing something else, you know, it's oh, I don't really want. They got to stop and go to the practice. You know, they don't always like that. And then they get there and they're fine. Um, so you got to grab them by the earlobe once in a while. I'm kind of glad he did because now I kind of, now it kind of installed in myself where I'm like, even if I don't want to go, it's like 90% of the time you don't want to end up going to do something. It's you got to go and do it though. So that's what's going to help me become a better wrestler. So I've been very fortunate. Uh, it's been ingrained in him, and he's, it's in him to wrestle hard and practice hard no matter what. I mean, he does not take shortcuts, and he goes out there and he trains hard. He trains, you know, he's, he's training as hard as, if not harder than anybody. Schwill wrestles year-round and is ranked in the top 10 nationally by several polls. Last year, Schwill won the USA Wrestling Folk Style National title at 120 pounds, and the experience of facing elite opponents has been invaluable to Schwill's progression. I feel like I wrestle better when I'm wrestling a, um, a tough wrestler and I get more out of it. And to me, it's not about kind of, I mean, it is about winning, but if I lose, it's, I don't know, it's more of like a learning experience. So my goal isn't to win every match. My goal is to get better every match. Kind of the motto was, I got to find you a loss, you know, and, and uh, um, we've been able to find him a loss here and there. But, you know, uh, the thing about it is, is that he learns then to, um, to take it as any other opponent. He just wants to wrestle the best. He just wants to wrestle as hard and score points. And I think that's what, uh, you know, he doesn't get nervous when it comes to the big stage. For everything Schwill has accomplished as a high school wrestler, a state title has eluded him. Schwill has lost in the championship match three years in a row. Last year was probably the toughest year because it was like my third time I was winning in the match. I blew the lead. He's a great wrestler. Now it just kind of drives me. I'm not like going into the season, I'm not like, hey, I'm not hyper focused on the state state title. It's a lot easier on me. I think it takes off a lot, a lot more pressure. So I don't I don't feel like I've got people might think that I think I've I've got a lot of pressure going into my fourth state title, but I don't have as much pressure because I don't know, just I'm a lot more lighthearted on myself this year. State title or not, Jake Schwill's time as a high school wrestler will come to an end soon, but his journey as a student athlete will continue at the University of Wyoming. I had a lot of different schools to choose between, and there are a lot of there. I liked them all, but I think the main thing was the coaches. I liked the coaches right off the bat. They seemed really transparent with me. The, all the people that I met, they seemed like they're hardworking dudes. Their, their minds were all on the same path. They all had the same goal. Jake wrestled and won five matches last week, including earning his 200th career win.